I go along with the concept of typography. Uh, sometimes you need some other fonts that are not currently on your on your computer. Uh, there's a, a variety of ways to to go about getting other fonts. One of them is to go out and actually physically buy that one particular font. And so, if you're doing things uh, commercially, you just need to build that into your into the price of your uh, project because a, a typical font might cost ninety nine dollars. Um, if it's a copyrighted font. But the nice thing about uh, the font, and especially educationally at the moment, is uh, that you can see what the usage policy is. Like this one is free for personal use. Um, this was just plain free. Um, some of them say that if you're going to, they're free for personal, but then uh, you need to pay for commercial. So I could go to a bunch of different things. I'm going to go uh, right now to, let's say, uh, medieval and a lot of different kind of gothic style lettering styles and you can see here that some of them are free for personal use donate to the uh, to the uh, maker um, a whole lot of different kinds of things so let's just say that I wanted to use uh, this one so here's how we uh, get it into your computer you go to download and it comes into my download folder down here and I can just double click on it right now and um, what happens here is that this comes in a zip folder and a zip folder is a way to compress the files to make them smaller but more importantly to just keep everything in one place so if you want to email a uh, several different pictures or several different files um, you can put it in a zip folder and then send it to somebody but then they have to unzip it and so you can see right here it says extract all files but I think I can kind of uh, circumvent that and if I want to install this on my computer um, on a Windows machine anyway. I double click on London. It gives me the uh, uh, the look of all the different letters. And just uh, on a side here, uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That uh, The reason why they do that is that that has every letter of the alphabet. And there are several other different kinds of uh, sentences that have that, but uh, Defont always uses uses that and that's kind of a, a standard sentence. But all I have to do is hit install and it's going to install. Then with Photoshop though, Photoshop loads all its fonts on um, the initialization. So when you first start Photoshop, it loads the fonts. So now if I already have Photoshop up and then I go out and find this font and I load it, uh, Photoshop's not going to recognize it. So it's there, but what you need to do is relaunch Photoshop, close it and relaunch, and then Photoshop will find it and you'll be able to use it. So uh, you can go ahead and look at for some other font uh, sites, but the font is uh, kind of a favorite because there's a lot of free fonts there that you can use, especially academically.